since I'm the master that called in, I get to choose. Who goes to jail? Yeah, so, I mean, it could oh, be you or one of them. I'll go. I don't think you can handle jail, sweetie. <laughs> Again? <laughs> yeah, that'll be a story for another day. <laughs> Last time aboard Freedom, we took you along with us on a six-week winter cruising extravaganza into British Columbia, Canada. We started off in Victoria before enjoying city life in downtown Vancouver and some of the area's most special destinations like Indian Arm, Princess Louisa Inlet, and back to a very cold and snowy island paradise. If you missed any of those videos, be sure to check out our full playlist. Now it's summer, our favorite time of the year, and what makes most everyone forget about those long and rainy winters and fall madly in love again with this part of the world. With longer days, lots of sunshine, and warmer temps, we're excited to begin cruising farther north to explore some of BC's most popular and most remote nooks and crannies. God, Sean. Look out. Sean, welcome yeah. back, by the way. Thank you. You're not here for like more than 20 minutes and you've already got a new tool. Of course. You know. And you're spilling water and you'll drop the nozzle. Yeah, hey, look at this. Oh, geez. Hold on. New tool doesn't work. What? Oh. Uh, are you supposed to be touching that? Huh? Cordless pressure washer. Cordless pressure washer? Yeah. Did you need that? Or was that a wand? Of course, everybody needs one of these. Oh, jeez. You're not impressed, are you? No. I can tell. I'm not. You know, You're not. It's yeah. 100 bucks, but it's not like it's a little weaker than I would have thought. What did I tell you? It's like a. <gasps> no, no, I... Come on. What do you think? Not very uh, powerful at all. No. no. What are you yakking about? Operator air, it was on low. Here's low. Hi. Now we're blasting. Oh, jeez. Anything clean? I'm your guy. Yep, I know. If you're wondering why Sean bought a battery powered pressure washer, so am I. But anywho, let's get back to actual useful boat stuff, like giving Freedom her regular pre-departure checkup. Sean always checks the main engine's coolant level, the main engine's oil level, and her transmission fluid level. The process of checking these every single time we leave the dock only takes about a minute, but it can save us tens of hours and thousands of dollars in the long run by helping us spot issues before they become a real problem for us. And since we'll be anchored in remote locations for the next 16 days, the last thing we need right now are boat problems.
morning, it's 5 a.m. We left at 4.30, 4.38 to be exact. Uh, we've been cruising at 7.3 knots. We've got six knots of wind, which is great. Uh, the water temp's 58, relatively calm seas. Um, and uh, we will be at our final, or first destination at 3 p.m., Poets Cove, to check into Canada. Hopefully that all goes smoothly and we can uh, get in and out of there pretty quickly, hopefully within a half hour, 45 minutes. The wind is not in our favor for the next two days, so we might have to uh, revise our plans slightly. We might not be able to run through the night uh, in the Strait of Georgia like we had hoped, um, but we'll see. The Strait of Juan de Fuca has also been a little gnarly uh, overnight. The winds were super high. So by the time we hit it, it'll have been about five hours since the wind calmed down. So hopefully by the time we get there, it'll be smooth crossing uh, into the San Juan Islands and then up to the Gulf Islands uh, to Poets Cove. First stop after checking into Canada is going to be Desolation Sound, a 30-hour passage from Seattle if Mother Nature gives us a wink and a nod. With an average cruising speed of only 6.8 knots, maybe a little more or less depending on how we time the currents, we try to take full advantage of good weather windows so we can cover as much ground as possible with as little risk of enduring extended lengths of time in bad seas. Slow boating with hours or even days sitting at the helm isn't for everyone, but we've come to really appreciate the extra time and slower pace of life. We can get work done, enjoy our morning coffee, and make breakfast underway. that I forgot to eat, so eat up. All right, want any eggs? Uh, no, thank you. Eggs erroneous, coming right up. All right, one batch of cheesy eggs erroneous. Mm. Jake's specialty du jour, eggs erroneous. We're now Canadian compliant. Wow, nice, that's four eggs. Four eggs. Mmm, yum -o. Not a bad way to start the trip. Yeah. Sure you don't want some? Cheesy eggs? Oh, that's okay. I'm okay. I'd love to, but, you know. Mm. Luckily, Sean ate his eggs before we entered the Strait of Juan de Fuca, since our relatively calm morning conditions were about to change. The dogs got stressed and Sean started feeling sick after about 30 minutes of bopping around. So I stayed at the helm and enjoyed the ride for the next couple of hours until I started to feel sick. It's not fun when both captains feel under the weather and it's something we're definitely gonna have to figure out as we continue to plan our global travels in the coming years. conditions improved once we arrived into the San Juan Islands via Cattle Pass. Sully and Martha definitely appreciated that so they could go use their pea patch. 
and I also could get in some light exercise to combat the laziness that often sets in while underway all day. Look. So you head up to an office, you don't call? No, nah, I think there's an office here. If I go up there and there's a phone, then I'll come back and call from here. All right, hold on, guys. You got to stay here. We can't get off the boat. So we're all tied up here at Poets Cove. It's the one of the border checkpoints. Uh, definitely not as easy as Victoria. Um, so if you're coming into Canada and Victoria is one of your stops, you might want to consider checking in there. It's always been super fast. Uh, we'll see. There's three other boats parked here at the Customs or the Canada Border Security Docks, which is odd. Um, hopefully there's not a holdup. Hopefully no one's still on their lunch break because it's such a beautiful day. Uh, and hopefully we just get checked in. Uh, they might board. They might not. Uh, we'll see. Um, but we shouldn't have any issues. We don't have any produce. Sean ate the eggs. Yeah, so we'll see. Come on guys, we can't get off the boat. We're gonna use the patch. Come on, Zell. And Sean's on his way back already. Hmm. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe we just need to call. Back so soon. I'll call from here. Those phones are occupied. Oh, so it's just a call-in system? Yeah, but once we get, there's people here. So once we get a number, we have to show them before we can leave. What do we show them? The number. Our, oh. And if there's a problem, then they'll so, notify these guys to come see us. For general information about the CBSA programs, services, and initiatives, press 1. The estimated wait time is more than 15 minutes. Please stay on the line to maintain your calling priority. Oh, Martha, do you like the elevator music? Or are you just excited to be in Canada? Oh. <gasps> yeah, you're excited. One hour later. Still on hold. You're trying to the dark? I am. How many people on the boat? Uh, two adults and two dogs. Yep, we have those on board. Max, are they older than six months? Yes. Hey, how long are you staying in Canada for and the reason for your trip? Are you meeting up with anybody? Nope. Any alcohol, tobacco, cannabis, firearms, weapons, food, fire, animal products? We have alcohol and we have food products on board. Hey, what kind of alcohol do you have? Uh, ship stores. We have probably 12 cans of beer, four bottles of wine, two bottles of champagne. Uh, and then a half a dozen bottles of spirits, most of them open. Just in the future, you just have to remember your exemptions. I'm not going to charge you today. Okay. Okay, have a good day. Thank you. 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 Thank
All right, we're all clear. I'm gonna show Officer Friendly our number so that they don't chase us down in their high-speed patrol boat as we untie from the dock, and then we should be able, we should be cleared to leave. Well, what was that total time on the phone again? One hour and 15 minutes of wait time, and the call was a minute. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Good use of time. I will be right back. So, we just leave? He wasn't there? They're not there. They took off in their boat, probably to go chase somebody else. So, we'll just leave, and if we get stopped, at least we have our number. We can prove that we called in. Do you know for sure that we're able to leave? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you know that? Because that's what we do everywhere else. We check it in Canada, where there's nobody. Oh. I know Martha. Let's hope he's right. If I'm not right, I think they, you have your choice to surrender who you want and they put you in Canadian jail. So since I'm the master that called in, I get to choose. Who goes to jail? Yeah, so I mean, it could oh, be you or one of them. I'll go. <laughs> I don't think you can handle jail, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> Again? <laughs> yeah, that'll be a story for another day. <laughs> Looks like we got some more whales and they're over there by that boat. We're a little too far, but I can see them breaching a little bit from here. Or not breaching, but surfacing for air. stop is Silva Bay on the top of Gabriola Island, a five and a half hour cruise from Poets Cove and where we think we'll be spending the night. Time for the flag? Time to raise the flag. And since we've got some time to kill, Sean decided it was a good time to put up our Canadian courtesy flag. This is customary for any boat cruising in foreign waters as a token of respect. Ready to sing? Oh, Canada, I forget the rest of the lyrics. Oh, Canada. Four hours to go. We have four hours and 15 minutes. Uh, we should be arriving in Silva Bay at 9 p.m. Cruising speed is 7.1. We've been averaging really good speeds today. I mean, usually it's 6.5 to 6.7 or 6.8. So anything over seven for a consistent amount of time is really exciting. Uh, we've got 10 knots of wind. It just kicked up a little bit. Um, it was like totally flat, and then like out of nowhere, we got 10 knots and some a little bit of waves, but nothing, nothing bad. Um, Sean's sunning himself on the bow. He's taking a, taking a break. I'm taking the helm for a few hours. Um, we've been doing some informal shifts today. Like we decided maybe three hours each, three hours on, three hours off. But it's on nice days like this when we're cruising mostly in daylight hours. We just kind of play by ear. Whoever, whoever feels like um, they need a break, we just kind of just do it informally and we're not so regimented on the shift thing. Um, since we're not going to go overnight, of course we're not even. Who cares? We're going to get a good night's sleep tonight. Silva Bay and then uh, look at the weather again tomorrow. It doesn't look good for the Strait of Georgia. We might be able to cross and get to Secret Cove and then hang out there and maybe kind of jog our way to Desolation on Sunday or late Saturday um, into Sunday uh, but we'll see. Uh, I gotta kind of go where Mother Nature allows us to go.
As we continued north towards Silva Bay, we started to notice that the forecasted conditions were much worse than actuals, and far worse than what we were seeing right before our eyes. So we decided it might be a good idea to change course and continue cruising on through the night. How do you feel, Sean? Ready to risk it? We're good. So far, so good. So ETA into Buccaneer Bay, 1157? Uh, I midnight, 1209. 1209. You know, if it could stay like this. If it's good, I don't know if I'm going to maybe detour and go further up. Yeah, I would say if it's good, let's just keep going. Pretty sunset tonight. Yeah. Basically the cruising life in a nutshell, a constant review of weather, winds, waves, time, and how the crew is feeling. And when mother nature works in our favor, Freedom's crew is always game to keep on cruising. Dinner, pot stickers or dumplings. Mm. And Trader Joe's. Good choice over pizza, Sean. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and turn on your notifications so you won't miss next time when freedom finally arrives in BC's boating paradise, Desolation Sound. We'll see you next time.